Hello and welcome to another JMP video, I am the host of Nettie, and today I will be talking about Magic 5. There is going to be a similar video to the movement suite video that I did a while back, which pretty much tells you all of the items that you need in order to increase that specific stat. In this case, it will be talking about Magifying. I will be talking about both permanently and temporary buff that actually increases your Magifying, so this is going to be a video which tells you how to get all of the items. Know how to get them easily, because I know for a fact that this is going to take a while to actually maximize your Magifying. So I'm not going to say that this can be achieved in a short amount of time, since alongside power rank, may find it's also the hardest stat to actually max out. Keep that in mind. Also, remember to not be discouraged with the amount of may find that you do have, even if it is at least 1000. I know for a fact that there are going to be some people in the comment section down below typing me crying at 100 may find. Just save that comment. So you, you get what I mean, it's just a figure of speech. Uh, always remember that may find is beneficial nonetheless and anyways I hope this video at least guide you to where you can actually find all of your items since who knows maybe one of those items can be very very achievable for you and you can actually keep increasing your magifying. So like always make sure to leave a like, subscribe and let's move on. First of all, magifying. What is it? Magifying is a stat found in your character sheet which indicates the amount of chances of magifying triggering. So the higher the magifying on your stat value, the more it triggers. When does it trigger? It only triggers whenever you get a gear drop, aka hat, weapon, faces, nothing more. No boxes, no event items, no mounts, allies, auras, just gear. That's the only way the magifying actually triggers. What happens when magifying triggers? It increases the quality of the gear that you do get. For example, if you normally would have gotten a shadow level 1 from a specific enemy, when Magifying triggers it will increase the quality of that specific gear to shadow level 2 or above. Also having higher Magifying increases the higher chances of getting better gear. So stuff like stellar gear become more commonly the higher the Magifying that you do have or stuff like that. Does this affect the crystal gear? So I want the community to actually help me out with this one because I'm only one person that did a limited amount of testing and I would love if you actually noticed this if you actually did the testing with two separate accounts. So as far as, far as I know I did a limited amount of testing and just reading from other players before doing all of this I'm going to say that this only affects the amount of crystal gear drops not the level. So for example the testing that I did was with my two accounts my main account maxed out Magifying and my secondary account which pretty much has no dragons and no patron. So as low Magifying as you can possibly imagine. I was getting double the amount of crystal drop from my main account on a 25 dungeon base and it was you know it was consistently around double. So I was getting roughly 15 or so crystal gear with my main and my other account was getting a lot less i was getting like six or five or something like that on a 25 dungeon base this could possibly be just pure coincidence again that's why i want more people to let me know if you actually notice something like this i could be talking nonsense but as far as my testing this is what i managed to find out but maybe this only affects the frequency of the drop not so much the crystal level and yeah i do believe the level is 100 random doesn't matter the amount of my friend that you do have you can actually just keep having the same amount of chances of getting higher crystal level gear but hey more drops me equals more chances so you can use that logic if you want again limited amount of testing so let me know in the comment section down below if you have done the testing yourself and i might pin your comment because this might be very interesting information to just let know out of everyone in the community all right let's move on there are going to be plenty of items that actually do grind magifying in this game I will start talking about the permanent magifying that you actually can obtain in order to just permanently increase the amount of magifying that you do have. So starting off with in no particular order, gear, which are going to be half weapon and faces. All of this can grant you magifying on third and fourth stat or whatever you want to call it on all pieces of gear as long as they are crystal or above. The only exception is the hat, which can also get yourself magifying only on stellars and below. Third stat as well, by the way. Next up is going to be the rings, second set on rings can appear with magifying no matter the rarity, so stellar rings always recommended. Then it's going to be the allies, there's going to be certain allies that grant magifying, for example Chester, Agatha the third, Cotton Candy, Little Luck Beast, just to name a few, Little Luck Beast is the one that grants you the most amount of magifying, but it's an event tied ally, so you cannot obtain it right now, as of the time I'm making this video, and there's a lot of allies, but personally I do not recommend it because of other stats and buffs that some of the other allies the damage allies can provide so might as well just go with the other one but if you want to maximize your magifying 
there they are. Then it's going to be the Pirate Captain subclass. Uh, level stat on the Pirate Captain subclass will, will grant you base magifying whenever you equip that subclass. Again, this is depending on the Pirate Captain's level, not powering because it's a level subclass. It's the stat, not the ability. Then it's going to be the dragons. The biggest bulk that you can actually increase to your base magifying are going to be dragons. There's a total of, I do believe, 50 dragons if you do include the mastery dragons, both of them, including the 700 and also the primordial dragons, the, all three of them. So out of those 50 dragons, I do believe if I do recall correctly, there's 45 dragons that actually do grant uh, magifying. So make sure to actually get them. This is going to be the one that will consume you the most amount of time. So be patient with this one. Then it's going to be post 500 troll mastery. Post 500 troll mastery. After you get yourself to 500 troll mastery, every time you level up, you get an increase of one base to your magifying. Then it's going to be Horror of Prosperity Fixture. This is going to be a fixture which can only be obtained by level 10 clubs. And so if you haven't already, make sure to join up a high level club. And then lastly, out of the permanent buffs, this I will count it as part of the permanent buffs because you can just get it whenever you want. And if you don't die, you don't lose it. So this is going to be the bonus percentage may fine. Again, if you don't die, you don't lose it. Even if you do die, it's super easy to recover. This is the bonus may you find that you can actually get it by defeating enemies. Every time you defeat an enemy, it will increase the amount of may find that you do get by 1%. Or in other words, just multiply your may find by 0 0.01 and the result that you do get is how much may find that you do get per enemy defeated. There's going to be a limit of 50 enemies or 50% or multiply your base may find by 0 0.5. And the result that you do get, that's the amount of mayfine that you do get with the bonus percentage mayfine. Again, very nice, very easy. They can just increase your mayfine by quite a lot. This is, was a really good change that they added in the Dells update. Anyways, moving on. Now let's start talking about the temporal buffs. Starting off with patron status. Patron status, yes, this is technically kind of as temporal buffs because it is, you know, it could be a, like a two week buff, a one month buff, but it's a buff that's it that's patron set patron set is actually a buff this alongside the, all of the other stats or the other benefit that you do get with patron status you also do get double the amount of magifying or two times your base magifying or 100 however you want to look at it this does stack with the bonus percentage magifying and since our both percentage increase it means that it's going to be 50 percent or two times or three times if you want to look at it that way this is super important make sure to get it it's a no-brainer i've already done a video a while back about patreon status so if you want to check it out go ahead and check it out then it's going to be lucky clovers lucky clovers is going to be a temporal buff that actually grants you a one hour 50 base may you find increase and this can only be gotten during the same q slick event or every time there's an event going on you can actually get it whenever you trigger may find on sundays or pretty much twice a month and this temporal buff is based around game time, not real time. So you can log out and the timer will stop completely. And then speaking of Sundays, it's going to be lastly a loot day bonus. Uh, every Sunday, there's going to be an increased magifying to every single player for the whole day. You don't need to do anything in order to get that increased magifying on Sunday. That's it. And those are all of the items that I can think of that can actually grant you magifying and they are obtainable right now. I know there's the Sunsicle Elixirs, which pretty much work exactly the same as Lucky Clover, but instead of just being 50 base may you find it's 75, and it's also one hour, but the only way that you could have obtained this flask or this elixir was on the Rise of the Sunseeker event, which was the event prior to the Geode update. Also, there could be some event food that I'm not mentioning, like uh, event food from like the St. Q's League event, for example, that actually granted that little bit of extra may you find whenever you have that equipped, but you know, they were specific to specific events. So for the most part, I'm not going to count that as stuff that you can actually obtain because those were tied to very specific event that only lasts for two weeks. And that's it, that's that's pretty much it. And yeah, I do believe that's every single item that grants may find to my knowledge. As always, if I forget something, just let me know in the comment section down below. And the item has to be obtainable. If the item is not obtainable, then don't worry about it. No need to mention it. But if the item is obtainable and I forgot to mention it, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, alongside the information about the crystal equipment, or if it actually does affect the crystal equipment. As always, if a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I hope to see you next time. Take care and keep on hunting, and good luck and increase your magifying. See ya.